Hello humans and fur babies, I'm Michael and welcome back to Inside the Round, the channel where I upcycle, recycle and create in the hope that I inspire you guys to do the same. Today's upcycle was a nightmare. I actually had the idea for this upcycle before I made the steampunk video because the fan that I pulled apart, I had imagined using the grills of the fan to make a hanging light. Well. I did, and it looks really good, but the process to get there was, it was a struggle. It, made, it, was, it was a struggle. So buckle up and get ready for today's upcycle. With a table fan or a standing fan, you've got a front grill and a back grill, so you, you can't stick your fingers in and chop off your fingers. So that's what we're gonna work with today. I pulled the ones off the fan. It's a metal fan, so there was rusty bits on it. It was dirty and grubby and paint had peeled off and everything. So the first thing for me to do was to hit it with a metal brush and clean up all the rust and the paint. Once these were looking relatively clean, I wanted to chop one of them down a little bit because I didn't want it to look like two fan grills stuck together. So I wanted to chop one of them down, which is gonna be the top part of the hanging lamp. So this is where things started to go downhill a little bit. I thought I'd invest in a new pair of pliers so I could snip off that ring around the fan. So I found these great little snips that had little teeth so I could put it through the wires and just take them all off. So I had done about five and it was like, going through butter. And then, it broke. My new pliers broke. So I went to my old pliers and I filed them and sharpened them a little bit and that didn't work. And so then I tried another pair and that didn't work. And then I used my hacksaw, which worked. It was tedious and took ages, but it worked. I filed the sharp edges down with a file just to smooth it off a little bit. I decided I wanted the one with the bigger hole as the base of the lamp, so then I could get my hand in to change the light bulb. That looks really gross, but that's what I was doing. And so then the other bit that had the label, I wanted to put a drill hole in it to thread the cord through. So that's what I did. And this is where I should have actually had my lighting cable next to me because I didn't need a little hole like that. I needed a bigger hole for the sockety bit to go in. So this was another point that I would be telling you right now, get your light fixture, see how it's gonna fit, and then drill the hole to size, because I didn't, and you'll see later. Then came the next challenge. So I wanted to space the bottom and the top apart about 20 centimeters, and then I was gonna use bamboo barbecue skewers to create sort of like a TP shape in the middle of it. So I had a, a vase that sat quite well and that was sort of the look I was going for, but I thought once I put all of the bamboo around, how am I gonna get the vase out? So I concocted a little something something with an aluminium can and half a plastic bottle and another little mesh thing. So I thought once I get halfway through, I can crush the can and pull it out. That was the big idea. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking was kind of genius. But um, well, what ended up happening was that the top I would put in a skewer, and the top would go like this. And then when I put it on my spirit level, it wasn't even. So I had one side standing at 20 centimeters and one at like 16 centimeters. So then I tried to balance it out with two glasses and two knives that measure 20 centimeters to try and get it even. Then I thought, okay, let's give this a crack. So then I started trying to add the barbecue skewers and I thought, nailed it. I'm gonna use super glue because it's like super and it glues hard. Yeah, but it didn't. The super glue just didn't stick. I was holding it for like five minutes and it didn't stick. So, 
you know my feelings towards hot glue, but seriously, I just was at a loss and I wanted to make this fucking lampshade. So I got out my hot glue and it worked. I know it works, but it's just, ah, oh, just kills me. Squished on the hot glue, stuck it in, dry, next bit, dry, da -da -da. did the whole thing all the way around. Okay, everything was stuck in with the glue, so I got some scissors because I was done with pliers, seriously. I chopped off all the ends of the bamboo skewers and then I, I went around again and basically put in a shit ton more hot glue to secure the bamboo ones at the top and the ones around the bottom. Like the steampunk video, we've used metal and wood, so I needed to give it a universal priming coat, which I had the grey primer. So that's what I did. It was about at this point I worked out where in my house I wanted to hang this lamp. And, you know, I've lived in this house for about four years now, and I've done a lot to this house. One thing I haven't done is the ceilings or any kind of lighting. So this was my first foray into doing some lighting for my house. But the problem is my ceilings are hideous. The ceiling is actually the floorboards from upstairs. So I can't drill anything through the floor. I mean, I can't drill anything through the ceiling because it's gonna go through to the floor upstairs. Peeling ceiling, I've got patchy bits, I've got exposed wires, I've got dirt everywhere. They're just so hideous but I've just avoided doing anything with them because uh, it's gonna be a massive mess. And it was a massive mess. Side shift from the lighting project into the ceiling project. I had to scrape off all of the peeling paint. I then had to get some wood filler to fill the cracks in the floorboards from upstairs. And I have to sand this ceiling. I prepped as much as I could, but I just had to accept the fact that my house was gonna get full of dust. So then the sanding began. And it was an epic mess. The paint I decided to use was a water-based Paint. This is a really awesome paint. It paints so easy and the color's great. It's very full coverage and it's got a gloss. So as a ceiling, it's gonna be nice to bounce the light because my ceilings are quite short. So look, I only had to do two coats of this paint, so I can't really complain. And oh my God, I, I can't tell you. I'm now, I, I, I look at my ceiling and I'm like, oh, I just wanna do all of my ceilings, but it's gonna be in stages. In order to have a hanging light, instead of it sticking on a beam, which it currently does, which looks bad, I need to put a plank of wood across the beams to have it hanging in the center of the ceiling, which is how I want it, and hide the cords. Okay, now we go back to the lampshade. Because I've got this beautiful navy wall and navy staircase, it, it's very dark, but I love the color, and I think it just adds such a nice look to that corner of the room. But when I walk into my house, I just see this wall of navy. It's super dark. So the light fixture, you know, the way it's looking, it would look beautiful as stainless steel or gold or something like that, very on trend. But I, I just wanted some pop of color that as you came into the house and walked to the entry, this, it just drew you in. I was wanting to find a really nice, yellow with a dash of lime, sort of a really fresh yellow. So I went down to my art supply store and there's this fantastic brand in Indonesia called All Caps and it's a graffiti paint brand and they've got tons of colors. So I found the color that I was pretty much what I was thinking. So that's what I'm gonna do. On the same trip, I went to the lighting shop, got all of the bits and pieces that I need and I decided to paint all of those the same color as the lampshade so it all looked purposeful and it looked like a legit lampshade and not one that I've made out of bits and pieces around my house, which is what I did. Once I shook the can and did my first spray, this was neon. This was like fluoro, 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 neon, fluoro. 
It was bright, man. Really bright. Then I thought, let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Now, remember when I told you before when you were drilling the first hole for the top bar for the cord to go through and you should have had your fixtures then to get the right size? This is what I'm talking about. The hole that I created was nowhere near big enough to get this stony bit through. So then began the epic tale of me trying to drill a larger hole in the piece that was already finished. So I spent like an hour trying to cut a goddamn hole and it was a total mess. So then I had to clean it up again with some spray paint. And now I was ready to do electrical work. I know, I told you I wasn't an electrician and I'm not, so I was petrified. Anyway, I did it. And then when I flicked on the switch, it totally worked. And then, oh my God, my light is totally finished. And it works and it's on. And this is what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on next week's video. Stay creative.